In this lesson, we're going to look at similar volumes. So, let's look at this idea of a cubic centimetre, which is one centimetre long. Now, if you make this two times bigger, then the length, for example, the linear scale factor, if you like, if you make that two times bigger, what happens to the volume? So the volume of this cube is 1 times 1 times 1, so that's just 1 centimetre cubed. The volume of this one, however, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 centimetres cubed. So when we doubled the linear scale factor, or doubled the, just the normal scale factor, the volume seemed to multiply by 8. OK, well, let's see how this works in another one. If we take the volume of this one here, again, we're trying to compare to the first one at all times. So let's look at this here. And let's compare it to this one here now. So the side length of this is 1. This is 3 times bigger. So what happens when the linear scale factor is 3? What happens to the volume? The volume of this is 3 times 3 times 3, so 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27 centimetres cubed. You can see 27 uh, cubes here. So how did we get from 1 to 27? And when we doubled it, we got from 1 to 8. Well, if you look at this, the scale factor here was 2. And the volume scale factor was 8. How did you get from 2 to 8? Well, you could actually cube 2, 2 times 2 times 2, to get you to 8. So, like we can see that that was 2 cubed. And if you think from here to here, there's 3. And here to here was 27. Again, you could think of it as 3 cubed. 3 times 3 times 3. So what we're saying here is, if you get the linear scale factor and you want the volume scale factor, you cube the linear scale factor. If you've got the linear scale factor and you want the volume scale factor, you cube the linear scale factor. So just like you did uh, with area, you squared the linear scale factor. For volume, you cube the linear scale factor. Let's look at an example of that. So two cans of Diet Coke are similar. Calculate the volume of the larger one if the volume of the smaller one is 16 centimetres cubed. So we've been given the side lengths. And we can see these are the corresponding side lengths. So one's 15 and one is 5. So let's follow the same system we did the area scale factor. So get the linear scale factor first. Second shape divided by first shape. So 15 over 5, which is 3. Now for the area scale factor, we squared this number. For the volume scale factor, we actually cube it. And easy way to remember that is if you're dealing with volume, you're dealing with centimetres cubed or metres cubed. So that's an easy way to think of it, to memorise what you actually do here. In an area scale factor, you square it because the units of area are squared, centimetres squared. So 3 cubes is 27. So what we're saying here is this can, the volume is 27, 27 times bigger than this volume. So this volume is 16. So if you do 16 times 27, you get the volume of the bigger one, which is 432 centimetres cubed. Or if you want it in millilitres, 432 millilitres. Lastly, as before, we'll look at an exam paper. This was National 5, 2014, paper 2. So it's a calculator paper. A supermarket sells cylindrical cookie jars, which are similar, mathematically similar. It tells you the small jar's height and the large jar's height, and it also tells you the volume of the smaller jar, which is 750. So this is just the same as before. Get your linear scale factor first. Look for your corresponding sides, 24 and 15. Second shape divided by first shape, so 24 over 15. Here's your calculator, it's paper 2, that comes out to be 1.6. Now to get the volume scale factor, you cube this number, so 1.6 cubed comes to 4.096. Now 
Again, what we're seeing is this volume is four, just over four times bigger than this volume. And this was 750. So you take your 750 and you times it by 4.096. You get your answer of 3072. You can see it's three marks here. One for your linear scale factor, one for your volume scale factor, one for your multiplication.